Today we're gonna to be taking the newest bird scooter for a spin and make sure you stick around to find out how you can bring home your very own bird for the first time legally if you've got the cash. We're a couple years into the scooter frenzy and for the most part we've seen a lot of the same scooters used by the various shared scooter operators like Bird, Lime, and Spin. And in the past we've actually reviewed the Xiaomi M365, the Segway ES2, but those are really consumer models adapted for fleet-wide use. And in order to differentiate themselves, some of these companies are beginning to roll out exclusive hardware or features. Last year we saw what I like to call the Lime Giant, the first rental scooter with a higher handlebar for riders seven feet and up. So Soon after came the Bird Zero, a heavy duty scooter made specifically to withstand the rigors of being rented by the minute. And now we have the next iteration from Bird, the Bird One which we're gonna be reviewing today. The Bird One is actually the company's flagship scooter right now, and it's already on the streets in many cities as part of the shared scooter fleet. So according to Bird, the Bird One should be expected to stay in circulation for at least 12 months, which is a nice improvement over the 10 month lifespan of the average Bird Zero. We've got the fleet version of the Bird One right here, but uh, Bird is actually also selling the Bird Ones to consumers, and they come in a few different colors, the Dove White, the Jet Black, and the Rose Gold or white rose, rose white, electric rose. <laughs> Knew it was one of those. This is the first time uh, we've actually seen the Dove White version of the Bird One out in public. So uh, big kudos to Bird for letting us take it for a spin and hopefully we won't break it and bring it back in one piece. So first impression, it's fast. But the next thing I want to test is see how it handles the potholes, how it handles the cracks and the bumps, maybe even some hills. bad going up the hills. Uh, there's no speedometer on top of the bird, so you don't know how fast you're going, but it does seem like you maintain pretty good speed going up a relatively small incline. So let's keep on riding and uh, see what else it can do. I just used my right hand turn signal as you might have seen and you know it's actually one thing I've noticed is that when you are on the street with other cars it's important to be able to occasionally ride one-handed you're gonna to want to keep your hand on the throttle but if you do need to tell cars you're making a left turn you're making a right turn it is important to be able to ride one-handed so that's nice uh, the bird one is pretty stable in that regard some of the earlier models like the m365 and the es2 I would not recommend riding one-handed for even one second so that's another safety consideration just found a nice little sizable hill right here so we're gonna try to head up it and see how it handles it we've been riding around Santa Monica for about an hour and uh, I have to give some credit to the city there are green bike lanes everywhere. It makes riding these scooters pretty nice. Uh, and actually just, I feel really safe in the green bike lanes and on the scooter. I haven't had any issues with potholes or cracks or bumps or anything like that. So in general, you know, you wanna try to avoid big potholes, big cracks, big bumps in the sidewalk. Uh, you know, always make sure you're vigilant, but this scooter can definitely handle it if you do happen to go over one. I don't think there's any bike lanes.
My first impression of the Bird 1 was that it actually looked a lot like some of the scooters of old. The front tire reminded me of an ES2 tire. The back tire reminded me of an M365 tire. The handlebar brake is very similar to the M365. So it really seems like they took a lot of the best features from the scooters of old, the scooters that they've been using out in the wild and probably incorporated a lot of the feedback from their riders and from their chargers in order to come up with this brand new Bird One scooter. The battery is actually located in the deck, so you have a nice low center of gravity. It does have a GPS inside the brain of the scooter. So unlike a lot of other consumer scooters, um, you know, that don't have GPS tracking and aren't enabled by GPS, if for some reason you lost this scooter, you would actually be able to track it by GPS and if you buy the consumer version, uh, Bird will use their Bird Hunter network to help you track it down. Not sure exactly how that works, but personally, I won't be leaving a $1,300 scooter outside anytime soon. The one thing I like most about riding the Bird One is that you feel really safe out there. This is not only a stable scooter. I mean, you've got the semi-pneumatic tires in the front and the back. Uh, you've got a nice handbrake, so you can kind of come to a quick stop if you need. You've got the good acceleration, but it just feels like when you're out there on the road with cars that are going 30, 35 miles an hour and you're in a nice bike lane, it doesn't feel like you're out of place, right? So that's the one thing I like uh, about this scooter. And I could see myself going, you know, one, two, or even three miles uh, commuting distances. Uh, you know, I think the big downside for some with this scooter is when you're looking at the consumer version, if you're thinking about buying this scooter, the price point is pretty high, especially compared to the entry level scooters. But this isn't an entry level scooter. If you're just looking for something to dink around with, this probably isn't the one. If you're looking for more of a top of the line iPhone, this Bird One is really the iPhone of scooters. So that's who I recommend it for, and that's who I think it makes the most sense for. The Bird One is the latest and greatest scooter that we've seen from Bird. I know a lot of other companies are going to be developing their latest and greatest scooters, but one announcement that we saw that was really exciting that I'm looking forward to in the future was the Bird Cruiser. So this is sort of an in-between uh, scooter and a bike, and it's definitely something that hopefully I'll get to test drive very soon. What do you think about the Bird One? And uh, first of all, what was your favorite color? And what features would you like to see on the next scooter that Bird comes out with? Leave us a comment below and uh, ride safe out there. Take care.